Good evening and welcome to the Citrus TV News Brief. Today is October 3rd. I'm Mia Rossi and here are today's top stories. Detectives are still looking for a motive in the killing of a Syracuse University student. 23-year-old Xiao Peng Wan from Beijing was found dead behind an apartment complex near Lemoyne College on Friday. Citrus TV News will continue to follow the story as details emerge. Healthy Monday Syracuse is encouraging members of the campus community to get outside and walk this month. The fourth annual Walktober began today with students and faculty coming together to walk the Monday mile around campus. Participants can win prizes by sharing their walks on Instagram with a photo and the hashtag WalktoberSU. Experts say documents obtained by the New York Times show Donald Trump may have not paid federal income taxes for nearly two decades. The documents revealed Trump reported losses of more than $900 million on 1995 tax forms. Trump has refused to release his most recent tax returns. Leaders in Colombia are going back to the drawing board after a referendum failed to end a 52-year conflict. A treaty between the Colombian government and rebels was narrow, narrowly defeated by a razor-thin margin yesterday. Those opposed the deal voted against it because rebels would have avoided jail time. Well, we've seen mostly cloudy skies today, but the skies should clear up for the rest of the week. Tomorrow will be partly cloudy with a high of 70 degrees. Wednesday through Friday will be sunny with highs in the mid-70s. That's all for today's Citrus TV News Brief. Be sure to tune in for News Live at 6 to hear all about Mental Health Awareness Week, the biggest name in 3D printing coming to campus, and more. I'm Mia Rossi. Have a great night, Syracuse.